one. Partial differential equations exist everywhere in our life. Especially, uh, they always show up when we want to simulate a complex physical system. Here is an example on airfoil dynamics. So, engineers in uh, airfoil design will use a simple partial differential equation, novice stocks, to simulate the entire complex airfoil system. Uh, the solutions from novice stocks will be further used to analyze the forces around the airfoil. So guess how much time and effort engineers will take to solve this concise uh, equation? Seconds? Minutes? The answer is our uh, days or even months. That's the fact. Mathematics uh, is beautiful, but it is cruel in the same time. Even though partial differential equations are widely used in almost every physical domain, they are still hard and costly to solve. On the other hand, machine learning is a powerful um, tool nowadays. It specializes in solving complex tasks efficiently and may even work better than human beings. So why not introduce this technique into uh, solving partial differential equations? The hard works on airfoil design may be even uh, possibly achieved in seconds. So that's the target of my thesis, using uh, this technique to accelerate the simulation on solving partial differential equations and solve the life of engineers. In fact, Physicians have already thought about using those techniques uh, when solving machine learning to replace the uh, old and expensive mathematical models. Uh, but there is still a long way to go. Uh, the <coughs> one biggest problem we are facing is that machine learning makes mistakes. We have all experienced that Google translation returns us a sentence that makes, uh, doesn't make, even make any sense. Well, it may also happen when we apply machine learning in physical domain. Mathematics doesn't make, sense, uh, make mistakes, but machine learning does. Even though we are not satisfied that mathematical servers uh, are quite expensive, but the solution is quite satisfying, well, uh, in the circumstances of machine learning, that's quite opposite. We should take a lot of effort on designing machine learning models that specialize in solving uh, 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 those complex physical problems. So that we can reduce the possibility that machine learning makes mistakes. During my thesis, uh, we applied some fancy techniques in machine learning, such as graph neural networks, meta learning, and transfer learning. Uh, those uh, techniques help us to solve some common problems we are facing when, uh, uh, when we uh, apply, uh, the, uh, when we adapt the machine learning uh, methods uh, in the domain of physics. Well, with these techniques, we are able to improve the model performance step by step. Here is an example of a type partial differential equation we started during my thesis. At the beginning, we noticed that it doesn't even work. But little by little, the prediction from machine learning gets closer to the real solution of this equation. Finally, it can even reach to a relative error of 1.2%. Well, as for time computation, it is quite surprising that machine learning is hundreds times faster than the traditional partial differential equation solver. So, in our research, we applied these fancy techniques to improve the machine learning performance in solving partial differential equations. They help us to accelerate the process of the entire uh, to solve an equation. And imagine that we use machine learning to a much more complex physical system. It will be much more helpful and larger accelerate uh, the computation time compared to current mathematical surveys. <laughs> That's all I want to share with you today, and thanks for listening. Thank you very much.